Good morning. So welcome to this uh, SQL and Power BI course. Let me introduce myself. I am Jagdish Kumar. So I have a long history of uh, career working with the different industries. So I worked as a, I worked in as a team lead and uh, manager in medical transcription industry for over a decade, and then switched to machine learning and data science. As my career, work um, I have four I have around four years of experience working as a data machine learning and data scientist, and also as a data analyst. So you can go through my LinkedIn profile for more for more details. So let's start our course with uh, the difference between DBMS and RDBMS. So what is the actual difference is? database management system stores the data as a file while rdbms in relational database the files are stored as a tables there are a lot of differences between dbms and rdbms let's find out so relational database is a type of database that stores and provides access to data points that are related to one another. So what is relational database RDBMS is? It is related, one table is related to another, like we have customer table. In customer table, we, we save all the data regarding customer, customer ID, customer phone number, customer email, and everything about customer. And orders table. In orders table, we order ID and what product he has purchased and what quantity of the product, etc. So how these two tables are related? And there is a key which is common column or attribute so that we can relate both the tables and store. And this is called relational database. So let's explain more about <clears throat> what are the differences between DBMS and RDBMS. DBMS stores the data as a file, while RDBMS stores the data as a tables. Data in DBMS, um, data does, it doesn't support client server architecture, while RDBMS supports. DBMS supports single users, while RDBMS supports multiple users. DBMS has lower software and hardware requirements than RDBMS. Data redundancy is frequent in DBMS, but keys and indexes do not allow data redundancy in RDBMS. DBMS handles navigational or hierarchical format, where RDBMS uses primary identifiers and tables for data handling. So these are the few differences between DBMS and RDBMS. Let's move on to the next slide. So what is the structure of relational database or RDBMS? Relational databases are based on the relational model. I just explained like uh, employee or employee or, or well, or oh, just explained as like customer and order table, or we can have a employee or salary table like uh, in employee, there will be employee ID, employee name and employee employee details. But uh, in a company table or salary table, here yeah, the way the salary PF or what the PF is cutting and the how much base salary or all the columns will have in the salary table. Both the records have common element is called key, that is employee ID. So that we can relate this employee ID and salary table and we can pick this employee got this much of salary in this month. So relational databases are based on the relation model and these are intuitive, like uh, these are intuitive and they are straightforward way of representing data in tables. So each row in the table is a record, while as the each column we see as an attribute, the each record has a unique ID and is called key. The columns uh, of the table hold attributes of the data and each record usually has a value for each attribute. 
so making it the relationships among data points like each each row in the table is an attribute where it is related to another table so this is about relational database and let's move on how does it how does the database work let's see the customer id and orders id though we have customers like one two three and name in customer id we have name address mobile number customer email etc in order id we have a1 a2 a3 the product id and product name and customer id so both these tables are have the same column like customer id and we can relate one to one relationship between these two tables and have one to one relationship and we can pick that yeah, the product XYZ has been buyed by customer ID 1 and who is Jagdish and he lives in Hyderabad. That's it. So, relational databases is beautiful, for, has a beautiful architecture like in tables. Well, RDBMS don't uh, save as this as a table, they save as in files. Let's move on. Now, they, before we move on, let's understand some of the terms used in this uh, relational database. Like attribute, I said, attributes are, are the ones which are same as columns. Like we say columns as attributes. And these are used to define and expand the primary key. Like we have the primary key is nothing but the common element, common column in both the tables so that we can establish a relationship and record record is nothing but a row row is called as a record and each row in the table is a record and it it has been identified with unique id and we can have multiple records like we can have multiple rows also multiple columns and what is the relational schema? Schema is nothing but an outline or structure of the database. Like uh, we first define the schema, like uh, while creating table, we define the schema, how the outline of the table should be, like create customer table. And uh, while giving the name and and also specifying the attributes, like name, name is of which type, like character type and customer ID will be numeric and name should contain no null values, null, null values uh, and all these things we can define as a schema and outline, outline of the date of the table of the blueprint of our database design that allows how data is structured in tables is called schema. And degree, degree of the relationship is nothing but number of uh, columns in the table is called a degree. So number of columns in the table are degree and the number of rows is cardinality. And null values, you know, when, when, when we are uh, taking data, sometimes we miss to enter customer name or customer ID or phone number. So when these are missing and this state, the automatically uh, see, you know, MySQL takes it as null values. And these are special markers and uh, no NA and they are, they are missing and unknown. Now, so I just said like, uh, what are attributes and records? And uh, let's see how it in, and, Table, how it uh, works. So we, we have these attributes, customer ID, customer name, customer address, customer mobile, customer email ID. And record is one, like uh, rows, each row, one, two, and these things. In this in this uh, customer table, we so we have one, two, three, four, five columns. So the degree is five, and we have three rows, like cardinality is three. So what are the advantages of relational databases? And why we use relational databases? So relational database has beautiful scalability, like it can store large amounts of data and support high number of users without, without decrease in performance. So this is the main reason why relational databases are famous and these are 
and these have well documentation and it can be learned easily and it the commands are intuitive to understand and relational database has high level of security and we can set boundaries for multiple users so we we can set rules like each user has whether the table is accessed by the this user or not. So, and also the relational databases has easy to access data. Like we can call the data and store and manipulate the data easily without any difficulty by using simple queries. And it is flexible to add, update or delete tables. And we can make relationships one, one to one or one to many using primary key and access etc and we can have this relational database has data integrity where the data we store has less redundancy and it is consistent throughout the table so these are the advantages of uh, relational databases let's move on so let's see some differences between flat file database and relational database flat file databases store data as it do as a single file whereas relational databases as single file or a single table where relational databases store data in multiple file multiple tables and have the relationship flat file file databases are simple and free but limit data access to manual process or structured programs relational databases are generally more complex with costs and provide advanced capabilities and more efficient access access options so what does this mean is that the relation the flat file databases we have to use manual processes well relational databases is generally more complex and it is has some varying costs flat file databases are usually suitable for smaller entities and smaller amounts of data while relational databases can store large amounts of data and it can be suitable for medium and small and small or large medium and large amount of company means which can store have data flat file databases are usually used for simple applications with lesser data than relational databases well relational databases main benefit is the ability to connect data from different tables to obtain beautiful insights so these are the some differences between flat file database and relational database so let's see in then another class we will, we will explain what is the erp diagram and how these the tables are related and so in a in a database we can have lot of tables and we don't know which table is where and how it is related so this ERP diagram is a structural flow chart where we can know we we know that in the database these these tables are there and they are they have this one to one or one to many relationship as a diagram. So we will know in the next class how these tables are stored in the database and how we know that how many tables are there in a database and how they are linked by using this ERP diagrams and let's see in the next class. Thank you.